what's up guys, Glock9 here, and welcome back to Nightmare. It is the morning of day 16, and the first thing I want to do is show you guys some stats. I've been meaning to do this for the past couple of episodes, and I keep forgetting. We are level 37, game stage is 61, and a measly 647 enemy kills. And I don't have any skill points to spend this morning, so let's just get a move on. Got our third forge right here that I put in last night. It's smelting down brass and clay. That's going to be like our ammo forge. This forge is smelting down stone and crafting out cement. Both mixers are making concrete and crushed sand. And then this forge isn't doing anything. We need to get some more iron today. Uh, the workbench made some Molotovs. It's making shotgun shells, and then it's going to make some 7.62. So that's it for in here. Let's go ahead and get our day started. The first thing I want to do is some mining. Actually, i got to drop some shit off in the bike. Uh, it is trader day. And I got a bunch of stuff that I want to sell. Whoops, we're going to need that gasoline. But all this stuff here uh, is going to be sold at the trader when we make our way over there. Let's get our XP glasses on here. And let's go find some shit to mine. Uh, I want to mine some lead so we can get that into the new forge. So we can make some bullet tips. And to maximize this rock candy, I'd also like to mine some nitrate powder and coal for gunpowder, and also some iron as well. There's some nitrate powder right there. But let's see if we can find ores that are relatively close together. And, and for me, right now, lead is the most important, so that's what I want to start off with. Here's an ore of lead right here, and I just rode past coal, iron, and nitrate powder. So let's start here, then we'll go grab the rest of that shit. And we'll be looking good. Gonna pop this rock candy. That cheerleader's pretty close. I'm sure she's gonna head on over here. Any minute, here she comes. Oh, how you like that shit? She looks surprised as hell. She had no idea I was that quick on the draw. Should have asked about me then, lady, instead of just running over here like you're gonna fucking do something. Oh, shit. Uh, well, let's deal with her first. She dead. Did she spawn any in, though? That's the question. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, too late. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Here they come. This is too many. Should have brought the AK today. Oh, they keep coming. This is not good. Oh, this is not how I wanted this series to end. In a fucking hole in the ground. Reload. Big boy's still alive, I think. Yeah, he's getting up. He's dead. Come here, big boy. Holy shit. Let's get the fuck out of this hole. Gonna have to dig our way out still, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we killed all the zombies that spawned in. But still. I'm done with lead, so let's move on from here. We'll head over to that area where I spotted the iron, the coal, and the nitrate powder. We'll mine some of that stuff, and then we'll get on with our day. I want to do this quest for Trader Jen, then go see Jen, get our reward, check her inventory, because like I said earlier, it is Trader Day, their inventories restock. And then we're going to cruise down and see Trader Hugh, check his inventory, and maybe do some looting down in the southern town. Got some zombies around. We better attract them before they sneak up on us while mining. Here we go. Ah, the pawn shop. This is good. I've been wanting to raid this place, and now we can do that and complete a quest at the same time. So let's search all this trash out here first, and then instead of going the, uh, you know, correct way up this ladder right here, I'm just going to break through this metal garage door. That's where the main stash is. There'll also be some zombies in here, so we can easily deal with them, you know, by creating this little window here and beating the zombies through it. Then we'll uh, clear and loot the main floor here, and then we'll work our way up the ladder onto the rooftop, clearing out the rest of the zombies and looting the rest of the building. I guess I should get my sledgehammer out, right? Hey, buddy. 
So long, buddy. Oh, shit. Close that door. Are you dead, lady? Yeah, you are. All right, let's deal with this nurse. She's dead. And let's close this door. Grab this main stash here, then we'll drop off in the mini bike and continue on. Oh, level two machete. I'm sure that is better than our hunting knife. Especially if we have to use it as a melee weapon. Let's take this mod off the hunting knife, put it on the machete. And maybe we'll sell that hunting knife to Jen when we go see her. Really no reason to hang on to it. Eh, not bad, I guess. I'm gonna sell most of that stuff. Eat that food now. Check this trash. Okay. Oops. Need the pickaxe to get in here. Ammo pile. Nice. Now, we're on day 16, right? So I was thinking maybe tomorrow on day 17, we'll go do like a large POI. I'm thinking the Navisgain High School up north. That's a pretty big POI. There's a lot of loot there. It'll be dangerous, but it, it'll be fun. And it's a POI we can get through in one day. Whereas something like uh, the Shamway Foods HQ or the Shotgun Messiah HQ, we definitely can't get through one of those buildings in one day. So I'm thinking the Navisgain High School tomorrow. We'll get a good amount of loot from there and uh, hopefully a good amount of XP as well from all the zombies. And then maybe on day 18, we'll go loot that Working Stiff Tools POI that I marked on the map. That's really the POI I've been thinking about because I'm trying to get this crucible. But I figure let's give it one more day and, and try and level up some more. This way we have even a better chance of getting one. All right, now we'll head up the normal way here, or the way we were supposed to go when we first started this place, because I'm sure there are going to be some zombies up on the rooftop here, or maybe some birds. I don't see any birds. There's a zombie. Here comes one. Lay down. You're dead. You're dead, too. Come on, ladies, you got to try harder than that. Here we go. Waking someone up. Come on. Why are you going that way? She's down. He's down. Neither of them are dead, though. Oh, shit. Didn't realize there was a third one. Come on. This is too easy. Is that it? Let's clear this place before we start looting. This is where you drop down into the main area of the pawn shop where we already where we started. You know? So, uh, and, and actually all I had to do was look at the top right corner and you can see that this place is clear of zombies. So let's just finish looting here and then we will uh, go see Jen. Get our reward, like I said, check our inventory. Then we'll cruise down to the southern city, see Hugh, and I think I want to raid that other barn that's down there. Remember I wanted to raid both of the barns, but then we got the shit kicked out of us in the first barn and I just fucking left. There's another one right across the street from Trader Hugh, and that place is loaded with cement and cobblestone. So we'll raid that place. There should be some decent loot there as well, and we can get a ton of resources at the same time. Hey, what's up, Jen? What do you got for me? Level 2 pistol? Yeah, I'll take that. Just gonna sell it right back to her, though. We don't need any more pistol parts at the moment. I'd rather have the coin. Take your shotgun shells. Nope, not two of them. I want all of them. Um... You know what? I'll take the rocket frags. I said I wasn't gonna skip out on those anymore, so... Might as well just buy them when we see them, and hopefully one day we'll have a rocket launcher that we can use them in. Bullet casings, um... That looks like it. Let's check our stash. 
Lucky looter, find more brass and loot. Yeah, sure, why not? Nine millimeter. And uh, looks like it. Thanks for the business. All right, Jen. Stay safe out there. See you later. We're gonna have to stop home first before we head down south because, uh, like I said, I want to do some looting and the mini bike inventory is full. So let's just stop home real quick and unload and then we'll cruise down south, see you, do some looting, and the last thing we'll do today is a bit of work on the base. up Hugh Jackman hey listen just so you know there'll never be another Wolverine in my mind all right it'll always be you I take all your gunpowder what else you got Ooh, level 3 junkie for just under 3,000 coin I think we're gonna have to grab that let's take the buckshot um, 44 Magnum for just under 6,000 Oh, do we take the Magnum or the Junkie? I think we take the Junkie. Oh, double uh, armor pocket mod. I'm going to take that. We haven't really had that much luck this series with pocket mods. And I'm sick of being fucking encumbered. All right. We got to buy the Junkie, right? Let's do it. Bam. Bam. Sweet. All right, else, thanks, Hugh. Let's way. get this pocket mod on our helmet. Open up a couple more slots in our backpack. And we got a junkie. Fucking A, man. Have to make sure we mine some more iron. Either tonight or tomorrow. Whenever. Before Horde Night. This way we can make plenty of uh, turret ammo. And then we just need to figure out where in the base we want to set junkie up. Now, to get in this barn... I think we can go in through these garage doors. Are they unlocked? Yep. And that one's wide open. Any pigs in here? I don't see any. This door's unlocked too. Oh, close that door. Let's go around this way. Where's that zombie? Ah, she's trapped. Let's help her out. Hey, slow down there. Whoops. Yeah, gotcha that time. Oh, damn. Yeah, bitch. Even catching me by surprise, you can't do shit. All right, I think we're clear down here, so before we proceed any further, let's go ahead and start digging, because there's plenty of shit to dig. Now, this used to be filled with the hay bales that you can pick up, and there was like a hidden crate in the corner, if I remember. I don't know if there still is or not. There's a backpack. What does that sell for? 64 coins? Sure. Why not? Uh, I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Alright then. Ooh, another engine. Uh, you know what? I should definitely make a third mixer. I think I'll do that tonight. We'll still have an engine for the motorcycle, which reminds me, we don't need that much steel for the motorcycle. I must have been thinking about previous alphas, or maybe I was thinking about the Jeep, where you need like 250 pieces of steel or something ridiculous. For the motorcycle, or for the chassis anyway, you only need like 30 pieces. So if we really wanted to, we could... Uh, close that door. All right, let's just give it to him. There we go. I think one might have fallen down. So long, Kenny. I got a crawler right here. I heard the floor break. Did a zombie fall? I guess not. I don't hear anything. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, we don't need that much steel to get the motorcycle crafted. So if we really wanted to, we could go around taking apart street lights. Someone had said you can get steel from a gun safe, but I tested that in another world and I didn't get any steel from it. I just got some forged iron and not even that much. 
so it really wasn't worth it. Maybe if you have something better than a wrench, or maybe if you put points into salvage operations, then you can get steel from it, but I didn't get any steel from it. But there are other ways to get steel, uh, street lights being the easiest way. So if we really wanted to, or if we're just having a lot of trouble finding the goddamn crucible, we could uh, definitely round up enough steel to craft a motorcycle in, in a day or so. But it would just involve driving around and taking apart street lights, which uh, is not that difficult. So we'll see. It's in the back of my mind. If we can't get the motorcycle, or if we can't find the crucible in the next two or three episodes, then uh, we'll go around salvaging as much steel as we can and get this fucking thing crafted. There you are. I knew there was another zombie in there. See how much better I'm getting at checking my corners? Oh, shit. Yeah, lay down. My reflexes are on point today. Here we go. Three in a row. I can't be stopped. You gotta be careful with this thing, because if you put a frame on it, it all falls down. Guess I should have dug up that shit before doing that. Oh well. Oh, zombies. Let's get back over here. Oh, ah, see you later, buddy. Come on. Hurry up. I got shit to do. Oh, that was a little, uh, that timing was a bit off. Whatever. They can't get up to me, so I'm not worried about them right now. Ah, finally an iron shovel. Get rid of this stupid stone one. Think I can make that jump? Ah, uh, nope. This one, uh, just like the other one, if you put a block on it, I believe, or if you even jump out on there, it will collapse and a whole bunch of shit will fall on top of you and kill you. I'll show you, but I'll do it carefully. But first, let me dig up some of this cement here because I hate to waste it all. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that pallet out there. But here, let me show you. I'll just jump on and jump off real quick. Okay. Oh. I guess jumping on it doesn't make it come down, but digging up this pallet will. Let's get off of it. Yeah, see all that heavy metal coming down? If that lands on you. Would not be good. Um, oh, got a little cement right here, and then let's go check that silo. Hey, Farmer Bill, he must not want us to check the silo. God knows what he's got hidden in there. Oh, fuck. I didn't know which one I wanted to go for, the sledgehammer or the shotgun. That kind of indecisiveness will get you killed in this game. Okay, we jump across here. Take this ladder down, and there should be a hidden crate amongst all of this hay. Let's knock out the center one here. Bam, secret stash. Some ammo, and it sounds like we got some zombies to deal with. I'm gonna use some frames here. Because I don't think I can make that jump. Pick them back up. And uh, what are we looking at down here? Just one? Two, maybe? Come here, fucker. Yeah, two. Three. Four. Five. Fuck. It's not the fight I was expecting. Oh, luckily the shotgun's a beast. Mo's down. Come here, bitch. Oh, shit, man. What the hell? I was doing so good all episode. Getting my ass kicked here. Listen, Mo. Fuck off. Wow. Better use a first aid bandage. Get rid of this abrasion. Get some health back. And let's get the hell out of this godforsaken southern town. Alright, I got a ton of concrete on me, so let's do some upgrading. And then before we install the bars that will surround this place, I want to put in a second layer to the outer wall.
All right, now let's do the other side so the base can remain symmetrical and my mind can be at ease. All right, that's good for tonight. But that's basically what I want to do. I want to continue that wall around the entire base. This way the wall will then be two blocks thick. And I think that's plenty for now. And that is just in case the catwalk fails and we need to use the base as like a watchtower base and just shoot down on the zombies. Because if that happened, the zombies will then start attacking the wall. And if it's two blocks thick, uh, it will take them quite a while to bring the place down. So anyway, uh, let's do some mining down in the bunker. We need our auger and some repair kits and some gasoline. And speaking of gasoline, let's throw some in the mini bike real quick so I don't forget. Let's get down in the bunker, do some mining and try not to attract any screamers just in case we do that. Let me grab this ammo back. Okay, that'll be good. It's looking pretty clean and neat down here. The walls are flush with the uh, outer support columns. Let's fuck that up. Start pushing these walls back even further. Hopefully run into some ore. It'd be nice to be able to mine some precious ore down here on top of the stone. But if not, whatever. Stone is still good. We're going to need it for a lot more concrete. get more concrete moving in this one and more in this one and uh, that's all we can do right now yeah I think I definitely need to put in a third mixer tonight for all the concrete we're gonna need moving forward um, but anyway that's gonna be it for tonight let me grab this stuff out of the workbench though so I don't forget get this all put away and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 17. Like I said earlier, I think I'm going to cruise up north and we'll raid the Navasgain High School tomorrow. That should probably take all day, but it'll be fun. Should get a ton of loot and a good amount of XP. And then maybe on day 18, we'll go raid that working stiff tools and hopefully find a crucible if we don't find it tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.